My name is Paula Dance, and I am the first African-American female to ever be elected sheriff of Pitt County, North Carolina. Seven individuals will enter my facility undercover to live among the inmates for 60 days if they last. It is important that you understand that these inmates are somewhat of a rare breed with very serious charges. The charges range from larceny to murder. I've seen stabbings. I've seen serious beatdowns. I've seen it all. You better be ready. So we do have a distress signal if you need to be pulled out of a zone. This here, rubbing your hands together, is one of your distress signals. The other distress signal is verbally indicating that it's cold in here. And if you do that, we'll pull you out immediately. When I walked in that cell, and my cell door closed. All right, then. You know, I felt like a criminal. The reality just set in, like I'm here. You know, I'm here, and I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, so I got to get used to this. This jail right here is something else. Let's go. Hey, hey! Let's see. But when I walked in, I realized how serious it is. I could be housed with people that are facing murder charges. I felt like it was a lot of, like, looking at me. That's not the vibe you want coming right off the bat. I felt like I didn't fit in, like, you know, demographically or whatever, you know? I don't necessarily fear the other inmates because of their skin color. I never would, but they might think because I'm younger or white, maybe I'm easy pickings. Jacob. Hmm. I don't know. I seen Jacob coming in, but he's, he seems shaky, you know? Had the jitters and stuff. It's a lot to take in all at once. Like, just crazy. What's your own? You know what I have? 50. Down. What's that, bro? 2,000 with a I don't know how to stay in 25. Damn. And 15 or 10. Damn. No girls, man. No. She like good. I threatened the cop. No. I told the cop I was gonna kill him. Oh. So might as well be drunk. <laughs> My cellmate. We were vibing all right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I felt like I was doing cool. You got first appearance at one. No, I already had my entire camera. Oh, okay, okay. Can you make the ball? Probably not. <laughs> That's a lot. I feel like I started to overthink my cover story a little bit, and he even started to delve a little bit into those basic questions that are are unanswerable for a cover a cover story. You want All right. I know those type of people. Like I'm familiar with those type of people. Those are the people that are not going to stop. That's it. When I walked in, nobody really said anything, you know? And then it just heated up. This one, this one, too. This one got one. Two people, they're going door to door looking to see if there's microphones in each one. And I can't hear everything they're saying, so, you know, obviously you're imagining the worst. I feel like the suspicion level is already, like, way more high than I'm comfortable with right off the bat. I haven't even stepped foot out of the cell yet, and I'm already suspect number one. I don't look like I fit in in there. I went from like a zero threat level feeling into 95% right now. The girl that came in um, with me from the holding cell, King. Uh, 
It's not bothering her. She not even here right now. She in La La Land. Oh, oh, oh. Dita, Dita. Give me my pill, please. Oh, that's what it is? <laughs> She's been coming down off her fentanyl high. Oh, God. And been moaning and sick and like jumpy and everywhere. I was just so shocked when she got on that toilet and it the way she did. I was just like, damn, these hoes ain't got no damn, no shame. Like, that's her house. You know, she's a fentanyl abuser. Like, she has, she, she, she bangs. I asked her. She bangs her arms, you know? So it makes me feel uncomfortable because I don't know if she has anything or diseases. You should have someone here all night to give them whatever that helps them not moan and shake all night and, and get up and pee and on themselves all night. Like, I've never seen that before. That's my first time. I that scared the out of me. I am not feeling that, man. And her withdrawals that she's going through, the shakes and the, the moaning and the groaning, that is, is over for me. Like, I just can't. This lady next to me, she got seizures and this ain't no joke in here. That really instantly like made me nervous. This is getting really, really cold. It looks like serious cold. It's getting really cold in here, like for real. Like, do y'all think these people are stupid or something? <laughs> like, honestly, like that, that's literally the worst I've ever seen in my entire life. They knew, they knew within, what, how long was I in there, 90 minutes? Who knew? Two people right off the bat. Well, they didn't necessarily say 60 days in, but whatever the cameras were for, they were there for me, you know? Why did they assume my cell? Well, why was my cell assumed? And why did they go door to door? I had no worries about my cellmate until telling the cover story. Terrible. That dude wasn't buying that either. And not only that, only what I saw one other white dude or something. So they're automatically probably assuming, yeah, this guy kind of looks like he's not. He's not familiar around here. They assumed me right off the bat. I don't look like I fit in in there. Basically, there's no point in sticking around to see what, how far it's gonna go. If that, I just already got the bad vibes from it. Well, I do have to take you back either way. I can't just walk you out of here right now. Your name has to get called. You would have made bond. Yeah, well, I don't feel comfortable with that. Nobody's on the floor right now. Mm. Everybody's locked in their cells mm. for another couple of hours. They're probably waiting on me. I don't feel comfortable going back into that quarantine unit. But if I don't take you back, you could blow this whole program and put mm. people at risk who are in there right now. <laughs> it's too suspect if we don't bring you back and it puts the whole thing in jeopardy. Yeah, but I'm not going back in there. Like, that's not an option. 